Good afternoon and welcome to Break Mitsubishi. My name's Joel and today we're going to be having a look at this 2016 Subaru Outback model year 16 uh, in the white colour. Now this is a very nice vehicle for the age of it. It's kept in very good condition. Uh, as I mentioned we do have the white colour. Now as you can just see from the, the front there we do have the chrome exterior grille along with the surrounds for the headlights there as well. Along with the silver little lining down the bottom there. Now today we're just going to be running over the condition of the vehicle being the inside and also the out along with all of the features and everything like that that does come along with purchasing of this vehicle. Now just having a quick look at the very front of this one you do notice there are a few cameras in the very top of the car. Now this is for the adaptive cruise control which we'll go into a little bit further yeah, in, in a little bit more details shortly. Other than that just having a quick look at the condition of the vehicle itself doesn't look like there's very many noticeable chips or anything like that. There is one little mark there, it looks like it may have been from tree sap. Now look, if you do go for our hydro package, we do have protection packages available for paint, which will prevent that in the future. However, you are able to see that one just in the very front, just there. Other than that, there's no stone chips that are very noticeable at all that I've been able to see. And the paintwork is in very good condition. Now we're going to be having a look at the uh, the tyres as long as the rims themselves. Now on this first one we do have some gutter rash just up the top right hand corner as you can see there. However this tyre looks like it's in brand new if not very near new condition. So we have our silver outback symbol just on the very bottom there along with our colour matched wing mirrors and door handles in this vehicle along with our indicator also located on the wing mirror just there very good for that safety when you're going around the roundabouts and you're just not too sure. Other than that, paint wise, this vehicle all round it looks like it's in very good nick. I haven't found anything noticeable, however we're still going to continue to look just to see if we can find anything. Other than that, we do have some protectors for the rain and everything like that, which is just on the tops of these doors here. So you can have the windows down a little bit more on that foggy morning and not worry about getting that water in on the interior of the car. Opening up our first door we do have leather interior in this vehicle which is in very good nick and I haven't seen any rips or tears throughout the vehicle as well. Our door trim does have the leather throughout that follows through which looks really good. Got a very big speaker there for our sound system along with like a little bit of a compartment where we can store any drink bottles or frozen drinks for that summer days that you love. Power windows, which is just on, located on the side there, along with our locking right next to the door handle. Just gonna have a quick peek inside, and it does look like there's some minor wear to the dash just up here. So there's a few marks just on the camera there. Other than that, the footwell is in very good condition carpet wise. We do have Subaru Genuine mats that come with the vehicle. There is some wear just here on the side of the seat, and we do have electric seats in both front seats in this vehicle too. And they are in very good nick. There are a few little white spots on this car as well on the leather. Other than that, nothing really to comment on. Continuing through the walkthrough, we do also have roof rails on this vehicle too as well, which are fitted up the top, as well as a sunroof nicely positioned there too, which is in very good condition. Looking at the back door for this one now, another leather through on the outside just there, going from left to right. Do have our child lock available on this back door too? along with your power windows again, and also your lock just there. Nice little posi there for you to store anything as well, drink water wise. Leather again, looks like it's in very good condition. As you can see from there, just pop our head in. We do have a little bit of a sunshade there too, with the sunroof. More carpeted mats throughout the vehicle too, with some storage on the passenger, and also the driver's side rear seats too. We do have those air vents in the very middle as well, which is very good for the hot days. So you're able to get that through to the back with the air conditioning too. Other than that, continuing through, second wheel looks like it's in very good condition. Doesn't look like there's any very big gutter ash marks or anything like that. Just on the right here, uh, next to the F on that tire, there's a little, slight little one. Other than that, the tire is in very good condition. Vehicle wise, we do have an electric motor in this boot, which is very handy. So if you've got your hands full, you can simply press down and hold on your key and the boot will open itself, making it very easy to present it as well, which works wonders. 
We do have a genuine hardcover Subaru liner in the boot just here, which is very handy. It looks like it's been in there since near new. And we do also have our spare tire under there and also a cargo flap included there too. Uh, and it looks like it is a full-size spare, which doesn't look like it's had any use at all, which is very, very good. We do have the ability to fold our seats from the back just here, as you can see by these handles, which will fold down the seats. We also have three tether points for anything baby seat or chair related, which is, it has the ability to go in all three of those seats too. As you can see, pulling this one down again, that will just fold down that seat nice and easily. So as you're running around the side. We do also have our tow bar and trailer plug on the very bottom with a little guard as well, so you don't have to scratch uh, anything. If you're gonna be doing any moving or putting anything in the boot, you don't have to worry about that. The benefits of a cargo liner is if you do put any shopping and that milk does seem to leak throughout that bag, at least it's not gonna go into the carpet and make it smell. Closing the boot, we do have a button just up here, or if you hold down on the key yet again, it will close the boot for you, which is very handy if you've got your hands full or if you just grab something out of the boot and you forget it from inside. The reverse camera is just located on the rear there underneath the Subaru badge, along with the all-wheel drive badge as well, and the Outback uh, box it is or two. We do have a little bit of a light on the wing, on the small little spoiler there, which is in very good condition. And other than that, I can't see any paint chips or any noticeable cracks or anything like that throughout this car. Now that I've said that, there is a small little mark just here on the side of the light. Other than that, still in very good condition. Fuel cap is on the right hand side just over here. Following through, we do have our third tyre that we're going to have a look at. Now again, this looks like it's in very good condition. I don't see any gutter rash that is noticeable at all on this uh, rim, which is very handy. But then again though, the tyre looks like it's in very good condition. Continuing with our weather guards just here on the top of the doors. Now having a look at the interior trim for the third door, the leather continues through, which is in very good condition. So that works wonders, which makes it look very good. Now we're just gonna fold this seat back up so we can actually have another look at the condition of it. Just simply just click and it's all done. Does look like there has been a baby seat potentially in this one. So there is some small wear in the leather. However, there's no rips or anything. Again, with our mats in the back of this vehicle too. Continuing through this vehicle now, it does look like we have some small little marks in the paint on this one as well. Small little scuff mark just on there. However, it is not very noticeable. Do have our Outback badge just there as well, which looks very nice on the side of the vehicle. One with the wing mirrors that are color matched as well as your door handles again. Fourth and final tire, we have some minor gutter rash. However, there's nothing over the top and the tire is in near new condition. So that tire has been on there after that gutter rash has happened as there's no marks to it. Let's jump inside the vehicle, have a look at some of the features and we go from there. Now on the driver's side door trim, we do have our power windows, our lock, our electric wing mirrors, and our fold too, along with a few set presets for our electric seat. So as you can see, if I do reach and press this number one just here, it will go to our number one custom preset that has been set, which makes it very good. If you do have multiple drivers in the vehicle and you have people that like it set a certain way and don't wanna to continue to change it all the time, very handy with electric seats as you don't have to go backwards and take your time moving it all the time. And if we just press the other button now, which is the other save preset, it'll move it back to the other position that had the second driver. Just having a quick look at some of the safety features on here before we jump in, we do have our boot button just there. Also, we have a memory button for the boot too, along with blind spot warning, lane departure warning, forward collision mitigation by the looks of it, maybe under a different name. And we do also have adaptive cruise control in this vehicle too. Let's jump in, have a little bit of a look and we can go from there. Now I'm just gonna move the seat back slightly just to make it a little bit more comfortable for myself whilst having a look through the vehicle with you. Just whilst I'm doing that on the right hand side here, you can see our adaptive cruise control settings so we can go closer or further away along with our cruise control still on the right hand side. 
on the left here, we do have our entertainment system by the looks of it with our source and our phone uh, settings. We do have paddles on this for our up and down gears, which is very handy sometimes if you do like to drive that car in manual mode, it gives you a little bit more of a thrill. Other than that, we've got our auto wipe, uh, sorry, auto lights and auto wipers in this vehicle. Uh, your lights and indicator is on the right hand side here and wipers on the left. Now starting this up, we do have a push button start, which is very handy. So it's just over here on the right hand side. So we can start this one up, give you a little bit of an understanding of the vehicle. We do have a nice blue color in here as well. This car has done about 88,000 kilometers, so 88,816 to be exact. Other than that, we have our entertainment system just over here. Now we've got our home button, with, it gives us lots of options, which we've got our apps too. This is very good for when you connect it to your phone, you're able to go through it a little bit more. Um, our map settings and everything like that too are built into the vehicle, which is very handy. We also have our climate control, which is dual, so we can split that if we do need it. So if someone likes it a little bit cooler on the left, no, it isn't 25 degrees. I'm just gonna turn that down. So as you can see, the right one is changing, and the left one's still sitting at 24 degrees. We do also have our heated seats in the front just here, which is very handy on that cold days, as well as all of our climate control settings. Just here, we have a flap that can close. Now, there is some marks just here, as you can see in the camera. Uh, they looks like they will probably come off with a good wipe. Under here we have our AUX and USB cords along with our 12 volt adapter just in there too. Just tucked away nicely so that's able to be closed so a good little storage compartment there. We do have our electric handbrake in this vehicle too located in the center along with X mode too. We also have hill climb just there too with some cup holders in the center. Center compartment, there is a little tray in here, which I will pop out of the way. So it gives you a good understanding of the room. And this tray should sit nicely just on top there. Pop that in the wrong way, but you can understand that one. Other than that, the reverse camera on this vehicle is very good. It gives you a lot of information. So if you do need to reverse up to that trailer, it works out very, very well. Now this car is a turbo diesel, so you do get approximately three, oh sorry, 6.3 kilometers per 100, sorry, 6.3 liters per 100 kilometers. And it does produce 110 kilowatts with 350 newton meters of torque, which is very handy for getting the job done. If you do require any finance options of uh, finance, we do have finance options available in-house. So you come and chat to Mario or Julie for a five to 10 minute non-obligation free quote, and you're able to get some more information there. Other than that, you'll find this vehicle located at 20 to 30, 35 Canyon Drive in Berwick. Well, feel free to tap that button and give our staff a call at... Thank you for watching. My name's Joel, and thank you for looking at our 2016 Subaru Outback 2.0D Premium.